Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to welcome you back to a great 2013-2014 school year. Uh, I want to take a short little period here to just get you introduced to the flip classroom. Um, what a flip classroom is is basically I will be giving you the lecture on video. Um, you'll be at home, you will watch the video, and you'll come back to school and you'll have time a little bit more one-on-one -on -one with me. Uh, where we can go over any questions that you had over your video the night before. Um, just want to take this time also for parents, students, um, make sure you're checking the website. Uh, also, I'm going to give you a little bit more information on uh, following me on Twitter. Um, that'd be just a place that maybe you can get a little bit more additional information um, as we go along here. Um, the reason behind a flipped classroom is it is more student-led. Um, as a student, you are able to go through at your pace and you can come through and take your notes down and uh, you can summarize, take a little bit extra time. Uh, if you want to pause me, shut me up for a little bit, um, you're more than welcome to do that. Stop, write some questions, hey Mr. Burr, why are you doing these things? And then uh, the next day we can go over it in class. Um, also, you know, with it being that you're able to do it in class, you come into class, Mr. Burrow, hey, I don't know how to do this. Um, we actually have that time. Um, I'm not going to be up here lecturing, at least not very often, in classroom. Now, flip classroom, the lectures are going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, there's not a lot of questions. So I'm just going to go straight through and I'm going to give you the information. So most of these are going to run about 10, maybe 15 minutes if I'm going a little bit long. Um, those are going to be about twice a week. Um, so you're not going to get a lot of lectures, but the lectures you are going to get they're going to be short, they're going to be simple, um, you're going to be jotting that information down. Now, with the flipped classroom, I'm going to want, or what I'm going to expect out of you, is to take notes. Okay, um, The notes you're going to take are what's called Cornell notes. That's sheet of paper, we can't see that, so I'm going to write that a little bit back. Note to future self, write with better markers. Okay, so that's our sheet of paper. Now, the sheet of paper is going to be divided into sections. Now, you're going to be given a notebook. I haven't decided if we're going to use that on a notebook yet, but I will let you know within the next uh, few days of class that you, what you're going to be using. You're going to divide into sections, and basically about every lecture is going to be cover one thing. Okay, you'll have one piece of paper, and that's all you really need. Now, this top section, this is for your main idea. This is the unit we're covering. Okay, so whenever we cover a unit, um, that's going to be the title of what we're working on. So for, uh, let's say, chemistry, we're working on stoichiometry. That's a fun word to say. I like to say it, so I'm going to say it some more. Stoichiometry. If we're working on stoichiometry, we're going to write it here. Now, we also want to put a date. Okay, so whatever date it is, we're going to write that in the corner. Now, why is that important? Um, there's going to be some times where you're going to actually have to cite your information, and you're going to need to know when I said it and when I gave you that information. That's going to be very important. Okay? Um, on the left margin area, you're going to write keywords. Okay, this is traditionally probably what we call vocabulary. Okay, these are your vocabulary words. These are the things that you're going to be looking at. Those are going to be the words that are going to pop out to you. Okay, so these are going to be very, very important words. Um, in this section over here, this large section, this is basically where we're going to write your notes. Okay, this is the typical traditional notes that you've been taking forever. Okay, what I highly encourage with this area is you abbreviate. I'm going to even abbreviate abbreviation. Okay, abbreviate those things. Okay, you should go pretty quick with your notes. When you get to college, you're going to have to go really, really quick on your notes. They're not going to stop for you. Okay, the odds of them having it on video are going to be slim too. Okay, abbreviate. Um, this is where you're going to write your formulas. So any formula that I give you, you're going to write it in there. Okay, any diagram I give you, it's going to go in there. Okay. So make it short, make it simple, put formulas in there, 
and then diagram. Okay, now we have a little small section at the bottom. What's that for? What's it good for? That's our summary. Okay, what did you learn? Okay, one of the key things that we're going to have to look at this year is we're going to have to summarize what we're doing. We're going to have to think back. What did we cover? Okay, so when we summarize, or when we summarize, we're going to want to depict it. So if I'm telling somebody else, what would I tell them? Okay, so basically you're going to go over your notes. You're going to write a quick summary. It's going to be very, very important. This is going to be something that you can look back and study really, really quick kind of get an idea of what we're doing. This is also a good thing to cover the next thing we're getting ready to do. Before we do that, I would highly recommend looking at your summary from the day before. Should make a lot of sense. Now, traditionally, notes haven't been worth any points in my class. Okay, notes are going to be a big key this year. Because in a flipped classroom, I'm not gonna be there for your lecture other than being on video. This is going to be one of the ways that I'm going to see if you did your work. Okay, you have to have your notes done before you come to class. Okay, yes, you could copy off your buddy, but even if you copy off your buddy, you're at least getting a little bit of it. Okay, take notes, take good notes. Now, incentives, things that I'm going to offer to kind of give you a little bit more oomph to go and watch these videos. Um, Occasionally you'll see trivia up here. Uh, occasionally you'll see quotes. Um, you may see a map, like a treasure map, that I'll put up on the board. You'll come in, first five people, first person, uh, anybody that has this information for the day, um, you will receive extra credits, um, homework passes, uh, Jolly Ranchers, candy, something. Um, you may receive early view of a quiz. Okay, I might give you, hey, here's the quiz. We're going to be taking this today. Here's the, here's the quiz. Um, those are just sort of incentives that you're going to see that I'm going to have for you um, just on a daily basis. Now, one problem we have with the flip classroom is some of you do not have internet. I understand that. Okay, um, it's not a problem. We're going to get around it. We'll be fine with it. Um, the school has internet. That's a nice bonus. Um, some of you will be able to watch these 10 minute little things in class. Okay, so it might not be my class. It might be somebody else's class. You've got some time. You have 15 minutes. If you have 15 minutes, you can grab an iPad and you can watch these things. So use your time wisely. That's my first goal. or That's my first thing I want to tell you. Another thing I want to say is you have after school, okay? There's always a room after school where there will be videos, something you can watch. Um, you can also come in before school, okay? Every day I will be here by 7.30 for sure. You can come into my room, you can sit down, there will be plenty of time for you to watch a video. Um, so don't worry about not being able to watch a video at home. There will always be something that you can do. Um, there are... Um, other ways that you can get around that. Now, what I want to get at here, um, your incentive for the day. If you watch this video, I want to give you my Twitter. Now, Dakota, this is for you. It is the underscore real underscore I'm running out of room, so I'm going to write down here. J. Brew. All lowercase. It's beautiful. Now, if you have a Twitter account, just follow me. Okay? That will be a sign that I've seen that you made it all the way to the end. That's great. That's awesome. Now, if you don't have a Twitter, here's what I need you to do. I need you to email me. My email is simple. It is jbrewer at usd396.net. Okay, shoot me an email. I can see that you got it, that you watched this video, and we'll go from there. Again, watch these videos. They're going to be great. They're going to be awesome. 
Occasionally I might make them a little bit more exciting. This is just an introductory one, so I'm going to try to keep it right at the 10-minute mark. Um, get your parents involved, have them watch these things with you, and uh, ask some questions about that.